the old baseball coach and you have to be even more excited. Uh, talk about that emotion when you, uh, when you heard and saw our name on the TV. Oh, it was awesome. You know, because you, you know the hard work that these coaches and these, these student athletes put in and to see that name pop up like that, it's extremely rewarding. You know, I remember a couple years ago when I stepped down and told Madison, you got the baton, take it to another level. He's done that. He's done a tremendous job. I couldn't have asked for anything more than Matt's done. Couldn't be more proud of this group. Two out of three years he's made the regionals. You can make an argument that he got snubbed last year. I mean, that is what it is with the committee. But talk about how he's taken it to another level. I mean, it's a regional team now. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about. You know, I remember sitting down, Matt and I together, and told him that. You know, we got it to that level where, hey, it's time to take it to another level. And Matt was the guy to do that. You know, he's got that energy. He's got that drive. He's tremendous with the student athletes. He's one of the best young coaches in America. And we're very fortunate to have him here at Southeastern. I know he still comes to you for, for advice about stuff. Talk about that regional. When you, from a baseball coach's standpoint, when you saw Rice, LSU, two story programs in the country, Wayne Graham uh, and LSU, everybody knows the bank. Talk about that regional. Well, you know, you know, when you see it pop up, like you said, I think what helped is the last several years we've been knocking on the door, knocking on that door, and the committee finally gave us an opportunity and said, hey, let's see what we can do with it. And that's the thing, you know, we see you got Rice, first game, you got LSU in this region, so we're very familiar with it. Our crowd will be able to come. That's going to be exciting to have Lion Nation there, but you're right, we see the LSU, we see Rice, Southeastern right there with them. It's a credit to this program where it is now. You mentioned Lion Nation. They always travel well, especially when, they're, when, when they can and they're close. Right. Uh, Baton Rouge, you can't get any closer unless we were playing it at the Pat. Uh, talk a little bit about what you expect from Lion Nation. Well, last time we went that region, we had a great following. I expect the same this time. I think we'll have another great following. I like playing in LSU because our people get a good chance to come and watch it. You know, it's rewarding for them as well. It's not just for the baseball players, the coaches, administrators, but for our fans to be able to come and enjoy this opportunity. It's going to be a great experience. See, if you remember that last year, we were beaten out of and our fans were louder than their fans. Yeah, you know, our, our fans, we may not have as many of them as LSU does, but they're going to be pretty vocal. we got a very vocal group, a fun group, and you see it when you play at the Pat, you know, hopefully you're going to see it when we go to Baton Rouge. These seniors, uh, you recruited them. Uh, Sam Robertson, uh, Kyle Sedatov, those guys. Uh, to be able to see, you'd be getting teared up a little bit. Yeah. To be able to see those guys go out on top, possibly with a, re with a regional, possibly a super regional, and possibly a trip to Omaha. How does that make you feel to know that you set in these guys living room? You know, this is my last group of guys, you know, Daniel Mignette and Sam and Chucky, go on and on about them, you know, Fish and those guys. You know, to see the name pop up, because they've been in that room, I've been in that room when a name wasn't popped up, and to see the hurt in those kids' eyes, this is so rewarding for them. I couldn't be more happy. I love that group of kids. Thanks,